Welcome to another CNJ Q&A. This question is brought to us by Facebook, and a user wants to know, will a small vice fit into the XS tech router? And the simple answer is, well, yeah. Um, there are several small vice type fixtures that will fit into this router, but there are several things you need to consider when purchasing or using small vices into this machine, and I want to go through a couple of those in this video. Well, let's get started. One thing to think about when choosing a small vise for this machine is the z-axis clearance. This is the distance between the end of tooling and the top of the work surface and any work holding fixtures and hold down clamps. The XS Tech Router comes with a variety of tools with different depths of cut, but for now we're actually more concerned with the overall length of the tools. Most of these tools have overall lengths of 40, 50, and 60 millimeters. With the machine at its maximum Z height, this gives us an approximate height of 60, 50, and 40 millimeters from the bed surface, which sounds like a lot, but once a fixture is added to the bed, this raises the material and in turn decreases the Z clearance. Let's look at a quick example of this. For this illustration, I'm using a small screwless vise. This small vise has an overall height close to 2 inches and a base height, what's where the material sits, of a little over an inch. The jaw height itself is right at 7 eighths of an inch. If we put a 50 millimeter overall length of tool in the spindle, this leaves us um, only about an eighth of an inch clearance above the vise, and that's only while the machine is at its highest Z position. We now know that only the 40 and the 50 millimeter tools would clear this specific vise. We need to make sure we take all of this into account when designing and developing NC code for this specific machine. And as I stated earlier, there are a lot of options on the market that you can choose from that all fit into the category of a vise, and each one has its own pros and cons. Think about things like, how high does the vise raise the material off the bed? How tall are the vise jaws? Do the jaws have steps cut into them? How strong is the vise and how securely will it hold your material? What shapes will the vise hold? Does it have V-grooves in the jaw to hold round stock? How repeatable is the positioning of the vise? And I guess most importantly, how are you going to mount the vise to the router bed? One alternative to a vise that I'm extremely interested in is the low profile clamps made by Legacy Woodworking Machinery. It appears that these clamps could mount directly to the bed and provide side to side holding pressure without raising the material and without having the clamps that come with the machine come over the top of the material. I hope to get a set of these soon and try them out. Thanks for listening and I hope this answered your question. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section or send us an email at cnjsim at gmail.com. Thank <laughs> you.